Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a pretty decent week thus far. Um, I hope that the audio is okay on this. I'm in my car waiting with the window down. I got um, my daughter and her friends, their opening game in their high, at their high school, their opening football game is tomorrow. And I guess they have some kind of theme where they have to wear like Hawaiian shirts and stuff like that. So I dropped them off at the Goodwill so that they can hopefully find that. I don't know why they would wait to the last minute, but whatever. I'm just sitting here in my car waiting on the girls to get done. So I decided I was going to go ahead and do this video. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Dave Chappelle's special, Netflix special yet, called Sticks and Stones, but it's definitely worth checking out. Dave Chappelle basically had a deal with Netflix to do several, and he got a nice big bag for it. And I've been watching Dave Chappelle for a minute. And I'm saying that to say that Dave Chappelle has been the same comedian forever as long as I can remember even I think I remember Dave Chappelle when he I think I first remember seeing Dave Chappelle when he was on the Nutty Professor with Eddie Murphy and um Eddie was roasting him you remember that I don't some of y'all might remember but anyway uh so I watched it it was funny I've watched it three times since Monday all right some of my favorite bits I think include the Michael Jackson thing of course uh R. Kelly was hilarious when he talked about running into Dream Hampton and Dream Hampton wanted him to basically be in this documentary. He was like, nah, you know, it was just funny. Like he don't know R. Kelly. The reason why he wanted it because he don't know him. You know, it was just funny. It was real. It made you think it was provocative. All the things that I think comedians do. If you're a pretty decent comedian, you can do that well. And I think that in my opinion, Dave Chappelle does that well. Okay. Now, uh, he also did a bit on Juicy Smolay or Smoulet, which I thought was funny as hell. And of course, he did something on the LGBT community, which caused a little bit of backlash out there, but it was to be expected. Okay. So I have seen some reviews from some people, and some people are up in arms because of the, some of the stuff that Dave Chappelle has said. I stated before, Dave Chappelle has always had the same kind of comedy. But another thing about Dave Chappelle is he he can give it to everybody. Everybody can get it. And if you've ever watched the Chappelle show, you would know that. He is equ equally offensive to everybody. But what I've been noticing lately, and this over the last few years, is that I feel like comedians are under attack and it's, it's going to get to the point where they are not going to be able to say anything you know let certain communities have their way they're not going to be able to be comedians i always felt like comedians were the one group that would get a pass i just felt like okay they get a pass they will say some offensive things they're going to say stuff about all groups all groups can get it. That is what comedians do. They're jokes. Now, I do understand that some people are far more sensitive than others. And I also understand that the LGBT community sometimes feels or oftentimes feels like they're under attack. And they got young people that's coming out. They're afraid to come out. I get all of that. And if you had watched, if you had watched it, you would have seen him cover that. But sometimes people just go off of what they heard. Some of these people getting offended probably didn't even watch the comedy special. All right. And you don't have to. All right. He may not be your cup of tea. I get that. But this isn't just about Dave Chappelle. This is just about the fact that comedians these days, what can they say? I mean, we're going to get to the point, like I said, they're going to have to like run their script run their jokes by people just to get through. And nobody's going to want to watch it. They are meant to be offensive. They are meant to be provocative. They are meant to make you cringe. All the things that I did when I watched it. You don't, I cringed when he talked about the Michael Jackson thing. But at the same time, I laughed too because it was funny to me. Okay, and this is coming from somebody that was molested when she was a younger person all right I cringed I did but at the same time it was just funny to me because he started making me think you know and that's just what a good comedian can have you do 
okay? Now, uh, the other day, after I watched it the first time, I was on Facebook, and, and my cousin, she was on there, she and her wife, and her wife had put on, you know, when you put on Facebook that you watching this, this, and this, and this, that's what she did, and she was like, had the laughing emojis. I mean, she clearly thought it was funny. Now, my cousin, her wife, was under the comments with the, like, throwing up like the throwing the green emoji like she hated it and that's fine they had two different reactions in the same household one person liked it the other person didn't that's fine that's how it happens that's what happens okay my cousin even went as far as said oh i had to turn i just turned it off i just stopped watching that's what you should do if you don't like a particular brand of comedy just don't watch don't watch Dave Chappelle has been Dave Chappelle forever and if you know those are the kind of uh, jokes that he's going to tell and they'll offend you don't watch them it is really that simple to me I don't know how else to say it all right you don't have to watch you just really don't and one of the things I think that some people get upset about if you look back he did a whole thing this he told the story about how kevin hart was basically when he told those jokes a while ago on twitter you know um about his son if his son was gay i can't tell the i don't remember the whole thing but he basically told the story and how kevin hart was going to host the oscars and I, and the oscars were getting a lot of backlash from the lgbt community like no if this dude if he hosts you know we're boycotting in this and of course um, there's a lot of LGBT community people in Hollywood, and they, some people say they run Hollywood. So it was this. It was the ultimatum. If you don't apologize, you're not hosting. Well, at first, Kevin Hart decided he wasn't going to host. Like, F it. You know? And then, of course, he did his apology tour. And here's the thing. I think some people get upset with comedians like Dave Chappelle because he doesn't buckle. I don't see... Dave Chappelle doing what Kevin Hart did. I just don't see it. I don't see it at all. But a lot of people feel that Dave Chappelle should apologize now for making jokes. Well, again, he's a comedian. That's what comedians do. They tell jokes. I don't think he owes anybody an apology. Not one bit. Do you know how many white people sit in these audiences of black comedians and black comedians go in on white folks and they have been going in on white folks forever and ever and ever as long as I can remember they have been doing that okay white folks probably buy most of the tickets they know they're going to get offended they know that uh, um, or maybe they won't they know that black comedians are going to go in on them that's what they do now there have been times where you have some like super duper feminists in the audience and they are get oh they get disgusted and stuff like I mean Dave Chappelle was talking about the Me Too movement. I was totally in agreement with him about that too. I'm sure there were people out there that felt the type of way. He told some jokes about abortions. I'm sure there were some people that felt a type of way about what he said about the abortions. But again, he is a comedian. That's what they do. They provoke. They are supposed to go all the way to the edge and for the most part Go over the edge of the cliff. That's what they do. I, I just am still confused about people not understanding that concept. You know, I look at Eddie Murphy's Raw. I think Raw came out in 1987, and I think to myself, well, damn. If, if Eddie Murphy's Raw came out now in 2019, they would cancel. They would get Eddie Murphy, who is pretty much beloved, right? He's beloved Eddie Murphy. He would be canceled this day and age if Raw was out now. Because some of the stuff, some of the material, the jokes that he did in Raw are even worse or cringeworthy than what Dave Chappelle does in his in his comedy shows. He was using the Eddie Murphy was using the F word. I mean, this is that was the that's what they did. All right. And I, all I can say is if you don't like that bit of comedy, if you don't like it, just don't watch. Don't watch. But you can't cancel everybody just because you don't agree with what they're doing. As I've stated before, I just think that comedians 
should get a pass on this. I think that comedians deserve a pass when it comes to comedy. They are meant to push and provoke. Hell, I don't like Tiffany Haddish as a comedian. I like her as an actress. As far as a comedic actress, I will watch her movies, but she has a Netflix comedy out now. And I just just don't even bother because that's not my style. She's not my cup of tea. That's fine. Tiffany's still going to be fine. Tiffany's still going to get paid. She don't need my stream to get her there. I don't have to watch if I don't care for her. And that, I'm just saying that to say, you know, you really don't have to watch these people if they offend you so very much. But you can't cancel everybody because they don't want to go along with how you feel. I have a lot of people that I love dearly in the LGBT community. I try very hard to understand, uh, you know, what I don't get or what I have a trouble understanding. I have, have been open and, and, and honest about, you know, like, well, I don't understand this. I don't understand that. But I love my people that are LGBT. I don't know anybody personally that is trans, but, and I don't want to sound cliche or sound goofy or corny about it, but you know, ever since I've been watching Pose, it has opened my eyes to this new world that I didn't know before. I have the utmost respect for those women who live their truths every single day. But at the same time, I just, I don't know. I could just sit here and laugh at some jokes and not feel like it's going to get somebody killed. I, 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 that's just me. That's just me. But again, I don't live that existence. So it's easier for me to say, but I do get that comedians tell jokes. That's just what they do. That's what they do. You know, and I just wish that we didn't become so PC that everything triggered everybody. I saw like off the subject for a minute, but I saw people going off on Janelle Monet because she said something about, well, you know, of all these people standing in these Popeye's lines, you know, that she could register these folks to vote. And people just went off like, oh my God, you know, of course the millennial woke community went off on her. Well, how y'all know that they not registered? Why can't we just enjoy things? Why can't we just like what we like and all the woman just said is that this would be a great, basically take a great opportunity to get people registered to vote. And people lost their ever loving minds. And, and Janelle, of course, in this day and age, was forced to apologize. And this is the world we live in where people just cannot say nothing. Comedians can't be comedians anymore in the age that we live in. It's, it's, it's just sad to me, but I enjoy the comedy special and I'm going to watch it again, okay? Uh, Dave Chappelle, I love you. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think about his, if you got a chance to watch it. Let me know what you thought about uh, his latest special. Tell me what y'all think.